Al-Qaeda's English language online magazine Inspire was reportedly hacked by U.S. officials last month to confuse the magazine's followers. The Washington Post broke the story, saying, when the latest issue of Inspire appeared online, the text on the second page was garbled and the following 20 pages were blank. The sabotaged version of the magazine was taken down shortly after being published online, but according to the report, this isn't the first time the magazine has been sabotaged, and it's not always this blatant. An unnamed official with the U.S. Intelligence Office says the hacks can be very strategic. You can make it hard for them to distribute it, or you can mess with the content. And you can mess with the content in a way that is obvious or in ways that are not obvious. Some of the more subtle changes include sabotaging files so they come up blank when a user clicks on them, or altering a technical point in a set of bomb-making instructions. The order to destabilize the magazine reportedly came from President Obama after he learned the Boston bombers learned how to build their pressure cooker bomb from an issue of Inspire. The magazine praised the Tsarnaev brothers and the Boston bombing, calling the tragedy terrific and writing of the brothers, a single lone jihad operation can force America to stand on one foot and live in a terrified state full of fear and rare restlessness. There is some debate from free speech advocates on whether the U.S. government should or shouldn't be hacking terrorism websites or whether they should be taken down entirely. But for now, national security experts believe simply interfering with sites like Inspire is the best option. If the site were to be taken down entirely, the content would splinter off to other sites, making it more difficult to track. According to the report, every time an issue of this magazine is set to be released, the NSA, CIA, Pentagon, State Department, and Justice Department have a say in whether it should be tampered with or sabotaged. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.